Throughout its lifespan, Epcot has sought to honor the optimistic futurism of Walt Disney through offerings that not only entertain guests, but provide a positive outlook on the future. The original lineup of Future World Pavilions and World Showcase Countries are seen as the gold standard when it comes to these philosophies, creating an environment that was unique then and is still very unique now. And while many of the new experiences within the last two decades have had their moments, there's been a real lack of attention to this aesthetic and the ideals that guided the park for many years. That is until Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind came into the picture. In a space dominated by IP-based attractions, what makes this one stand out above the rest? Simply, it stands out by blending in, but not in the way you may be thinking. Rather than creating an experience that recreates the source material despite its disconnect from the park it's in, Cosmic Rewind instead takes that source material and adapts it to fit in within Epcot. And by doing this, this attraction reinforces that classic Epcot feel and brings past themes to the modern era. Epcot's future world has always had a specific vibe surrounding it, one less like a theme park and more like a science center. With a sleek yet whimsical futuristic design that varied from pavilion to pavilion, there was an emphasis on edutainment, which sought to inform and entertain. And it achieved this specific tone with no thrill rides of any kind, opting for slow-moving dark rides and interactive walkthrough exhibits to maximize on an overarching theme found in these various pavilions. The storytelling was varied, detailed, and layered, with some room left for classic Disney humor. However, with this ride, we're playing with a completely different format. Cosmic Rewind is Epcot's first ever roller coaster, and due to limitations and expectations, achieving that same level of storytelling through that ride format isn't quite the same. However, this attraction uses the massive queue space to its advantage in pushing the story towards this direction, almost functioning like an experience in itself. The wonders of Xandar Pavilion, the setting for the ride's queue, truly embodies the themes of an early Epcot center. The concept of setting the attraction within the Epcot theme park, creating a pavilion setting inspired by the world of Xandar, is smart, fresh, and allows for the Imagineers to pull inspiration from Future World as Peter Quill's limited understanding of the park from the 1980s creates a clever in-universe explanation for the classic style. Visually speaking, the exterior and interior design features not only reflect the style inspired by the film, but the interior designs and lighting fixtures truly capture the feel of attractions like Horizons or the Living Seas. Specifically, the Galaxarium provides a unique look into outer space that for the most part feels hypnotic and solemn, like a window into outer space. And the Xandar Gallery provides the exposition in infrastructural detail behind the Utopian City Center, as well as Xandarian cultural artifacts. While other attractions have been doing this, here it feels less like a random collection of items and more like a showcase of a city and its culture, in a way similar to any of the World Showcase pavilions, as it just feels like added detail to a world that I personally enjoy Joy, but we don't really get to see much of in the films themselves. Despite how much of this is dedicated to the fictional world of Xandar, however, there's also a connection to our own world. Much of this cue portrays Xandar as an ideal, a city within an optimistic future that uses cutting edge technology to achieve that goal, much like the original plan for Epcot, and therefore the inclusion of a clip from the 1966 film detailing that plan feels less like nostalgia bait and actually relevant to a greater story. Much of this cue is dedicated to interplanetary connection between humans and Xandarians who share a collective curiosity about the other's culture. And while it's done mostly for comic relief, similar to the movies, by making the connection between the human imagination and Xandarian reality, the conversation about exchanging ideas goes beyond a fascination with Turkey Legs and Chuck Berry. I mean, it's not a coincidence that both cities feature connecting pathways and are designed in the shape of a circle, the ultimate symbol for connection. Epcot Center, even on opening day, was radically different from the original idea that inspired it. And this inclusion feels like a tribute to the ideas executed by Disney, even if it's through different means. Rather than some of the other references that range from awkwardly executed to typical easter egg subtlety, this one gives this seemingly far-fetched story legs, creating a feeling only found in those few surviving attractions from the first decade of the park. While this tone dominates the queue, the attraction itself takes a different approach. 
following a story closer to the typical Guardians fare. Despite this, there's still a lot of intricacy, bringing the entertainment factor of any Disney park, but also the atmosphere of Epcot's past. It could be said that roller coasters are inherently enjoyable due to the sensation of the thrill. But a memorable and entertaining modern story coaster truly succeeds in the layering of its various elements to create a unique experience, much like any of the Epcot Dark Rides. From the lift hill building up to the first show scene, to the unexpectedly intense backwards launch, to the way the cars move and glide through this massive show building, there's a sense of surprise with this one that feels refreshing, yet familiar, translating the outer space of the imagination really well. While on paper, this ride has a relatively simple track layout and takes place in a pretty empty dark show building, once the movement, lighting, and projections are incorporated, the wonder of the cosmos really comes to life. There's an openness here in how space is portrayed, and for a series as fantastical as Guardians of the galaxy, the setting still conveys a degree of realism. Sure, there's a space god and a talking raccoon, but rather than transporting guests to a fictional world, the ride takes us to one that is real yet unseen to the general public, and achieves that immersion due to the massive wraparound screens cleverly used to make the star field seem infinite when paired with the shuffling movement of the ride vehicles. And well-lit supernovas, planets, and fictional jump points add pops of defined color into a relatively opaque space. All of these factors create the feeling of weightlessness while riding, a feeling exemplified through the soundtrack. Everybody Wants to Rule the World maximizes the serene wonder in intergalactic travel, while Kanga and Disco Inferno reflect the chaotic banter between the Guardians during this space battle. And the way visuals, movement, and sound work together adds a sense of reality to a fabricated space, something that other space-based attractions don't really do for me. It's immersive, exciting, and reflects how thrill attractions should be done at Epcot. Because Cosmic Rewind, while not structured like a traditional future world pavilion, still has that distinct mood established through different means. There are moments of mayhem, for sure, but in little pockets there are elements of this experience that have a somewhat soothing quality. And like many of those original rides, it's not necessarily through the obvious things, but aspects like the design motifs, music, lighting, graphic designs, and layout it all has the nostalgic quality that made the original park so great, but in a modern context. It doesn't try to be an attraction exclusively based on a film, but takes the time to get you immersed in the world and presents greater themes that bridge the gap between the film and the park, channeling the edutainment found in those early Epcot Center attractions. And while that education factor may not distinctly offer us any grander insight on the universe as we know it, the desire to learn and connect that we may take for granted is a clear theme within Cosmic Rewind's storytelling. It is a ride inspired by Epcot Center, everything and everyone that's made it special over the years, and even as we are ushered into a new age of the park, rides such as Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind keep that original spirit alive.